This is the untold story of the most daring bombing raid since the Dam Busters. It was the most complicated refueling plan I'd ever seen. To be honest, I... And it's now that the last two remaining victors must refuel. Flying in the rear victor, Bob Tuxford knows if he can't get fuel, the mission is over. I was becoming acutely aware that the whole success of the mission now rested on the shoulders of, of me and my crew. Okay, I need to back off a little bit. Christ, this is difficult. It's all over the bloody place. A miracle happened. Contact. I couldn't believe it. He, not only did he get in, he stayed in. Yep, fuel flares again. That's it. Thank you, Bill. Bob Tuxford, I take my hat off. Good job, Bob. But as Tuxford's Victor completes refueling and flies out of the storm, the crew make an alarming calculation. There isn't enough fuel. We were well short, to the point where we wouldn't actually be able to make the island back at Ascension. Tuxford asks the crew what they want to do. Right, uh, we either turn back now, pretty sharpish, or at least press on in the knowledge that we've got to come up with some sort of alternate plan. I need you all to speak now and give me your view whether we continue or turn back. Without hesitation, each one of my four crew members said that we've come this far, we'll press on. Their decision means that they may be forced to ditch with little hope of rescue. Six and a half hours since leaving Ascension, it's time for the final refuel. But Tuxford, in the Victor, can't risk breaking radio silence to tell the Vulcan there's barely enough fuel to complete the mission. Everything seemed to be going well, taking fuel quite normally. And then, much to my surprise and Dick's surprise, sitting beside me, they put the light on. OK, Annie, give him the light. The red light flashed. So we had to break. If the red light flashes, you, you break. Come what may, you break. Well, how much have this given us? But I said, this must be a mistake. The 5,000 pounds, Captain. Because, you know, we'd still need about another 7,000 pounds of fuel. We, we'll have to abort the mission. The Vulcan had expected a full tank. But they've had all the fuel the Victor tanker can spare. So we broke off. I was absolutely amazed and, and actually very annoyed because I couldn't believe they could do that to us. I opened up on my radio, passed the pleasantries of the day, good morning, and I passed the code word superfuse to uh, let them know that we considered the attack had been a success. This is Quebec Delta, superfuse. The task force stands down while the code word is also picked up 4,000 miles away, back on Ascension. Suddenly, out of the blue, somebody shouted, Superfuse! I mean, fantastic. I mean, there was, there was elation everywhere. In Bob Tuxford's Victor, rapidly running out of fuel, the Vulcan's transmission tells them that at least their efforts were not in vain. This is Superfuse. <laughs> there was elation in our aeroplane. The whole mood changed. Well, let's hear it for the tin triangle. And after all, we were able to say, well, he's done it. He's done the job.
Chairman Mao, why is he still so idolised? Separating the man from the myth, China, triumph and turmoil continues tomorrow at 8. Next tonight, Brody has the knowledge to unsettle a captive, or does he have something even more deadly? Intelligent, riveting drama. Homeland is on the way.